Hello everyone, I'm Bruno Cristona, Senior Worldwide Specialist Solutions Architect for SageMaker AI in AWS. I'm mapping customers on building, training, and fine-tuning machine learning and generative AI models by using SageMaker AI. Today, I'll demonstrate how to integrate two powerful tools uh, in the AWS services, SageMaker HyperPod and SageMaker AI Studio. We are going to cover architecture, setup process, and show you a live demonstration. But first, let's talk about SageMaker AI Studio. It helps data scientists and researchers to cover the entire end-to-end -end of a machine learning and generative AI project, starting from data preparation, building, training, and fine-tuning machine learning and generative AI models for arriving to evaluation, deployment, and monitoring. SageMaker AI Studio provides several IDE options, such as JupyterLab, Code Editor, for building machine learning and generative AI models. It also comes with several built-in machine learning algorithms, such as XGBoost, K-Means Clustering, and Linear Learner. In addition, SageMaker AI is also offering SageMaker Jumpstart that helps you to explore hundreds of built-in algorithms and pre-train machine learning and generative AI models from popular model hubs. It is also optimized for the most popular machine learning framework, such as PyTorch, TensorFlow, and DuckInFace, without the need of additional setup for building your infrastructure. And when it comes to train and fine-tune machine learning models, SageMaker AI also had to reduce time and cost in order to do these activities. We can adopt fully managed capabilities of SageMaker training for executing distributed training jobs directly from Studio Notebooks. Or if you want to use persistent clusters, we can leverage SageMaker HyperPod. And now we are going to demonstrate how we can leverage these capabilities by building your generative AI models from the IDE of choice or by linking SageMaker AI Studio with SageMaker HyperPod. Let's see how the architecture looks like. After reviewing the creation of our, our HyperPod cluster with Slurm integration, we want to set up our SageMaker AI Studio domain for letting researchers and data scientists to build and pre-train or fine-tune models from their, their IDE of choice. The first thing is to create a SageMaker AI Studio domain in the same VPC and in the same subnet that is used for our SageMaker HyperPod cluster. The second step is to make sure we can attach the FSX volume directly to the SageMaker AI domain in order to streamline the storage and uh, uh, usage of code and data from our SageMaker AI Studio domain into the HyperPod cluster. In fact, as researchers and data scientists, we can use our IDE of choice in order to prototype our own code, save data, and share directly in our FSX volume. This volume is also attached to the HyperPod cluster in order to make sure that this information can be used in order to start the execution of our training workloads. In addition, as admin, we can monitor directly or from the login node the execution of these workloads, as well as we can leverage the capabilities directly accessible from SageMaker AI in order to monitor the executions of our task in the IDE. The architecture and workflow previously described are also valid for the integration of SageMaker AI Studio with HyperPod with AKS integration. And in particular, we can use the shared FSX volume in order to save data and code in order to be executed in the container during our execution of the pods. But now let's see how it works in a demo. So let's jump in our AWS console. This is the SageMaker AI console. As previously described, I have already created a SageMaker AI domain by attaching the FSX volume directly to these domains. I've also created a user profile that we are now going to use in order to prototype our code and execute our training workflows with SageMaker HyperPod. This is how the SageMaker AI user interface looks like. On the top left, we can see all the available applications, such as JupyterLab or Code Editor, but also MLflow for tracking our experimentation. We can also explore the different capabilities of SageMaker AI. 
and in particular by clicking on Compute, Hyperport Clusters, we can see the available clusters with all details related to working group, instance type, and number of instances. But now let's jump in into coding. So let's open our code editor space. I've already created a code editor application. And in particular, I have also attached the same file system uh, volume that is used in SageMaker Hyperpod in order to streamline our training data and our code directly in the cluster. Let's open it. This is our code editor interface. As we can see on the left, we have also the possibility to explore our custom file systems and in particular the FSX volume that I previously attached to this application. In the volume, I've already cloned the awesome distributed training repository and I've already prototyped the code in order to prepare my data, save directly in the volume and fine tune my open source model. As we can see, I've already defined all the functions in order to prepare and save my data set directly in the volume. I've also prepared the training script that is using the fully shared data parallel technique in order to distribute the training across the different uh, GPUs and the different instances. In order to execute our training workload, we have defined the pod.yaml file, where there are all the specification related to the container, as well as information for the different volumes that will be used. And in particular, this is the one that is related to the shared FSX volume. So all the data that I stored here will be automatically streamlined in each pod that will be created during my distributed training activity. So now let's start our training workload. I'm going to open a terminal. I'm already in this folder. Now let's use the cube control in order to execute and deploy the training workflow. We can monitor the execution of the pods by using the command line. By typing cube control get pods. And as we can see, there are different workers that now are running. We can check logs of the worker by identifying what is the main address. In this specific case, is FSDP worker seven. As we can see, the process of fine tuning is actually under execution. We can monitor the status of the workload directly by analyzing the logs or by using the SageMaker AI interface. For example, if we go back to the SageMaker AI Studio user interface and we click on Compute Hyperpod Clusters, we can check what are the different tasks that are under execution. For example, we see a task FSTP and we see that all the different pods are under status running. We can also check the different metrics by analyzing the tab metrics and we have different view of average GPU usage, memory utilization, CPU utilization, and CPU memory utilization. Once the job will finish, the model will be automatically saved in the shared FSX volume in order to be evaluated, deployed, and monitored in a production environment. In this demonstration, we saw how to interact with SageMaker AI Studio and SageMaker Hyperpod by using a shared FSX volume in order to streamline data and training code for the execution of our training workloads. For additional information about attaching FSX volume to SageMaker AI Studio, please refer to the official documentation. For the creation and uh, the management of uh, SageMaker Hyperpod cluster, please refer to our official workshops for SageMaker Hyperpod with AKS and SageMaker Hyperpod with Slurm. I want to thank you all for watching this video and I wish you a really uh, good day.